you know, all of us are here. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, that's the song you're going to hear. Orange juice going in. Then lots of ice. It's a lot like a slush puppy this with, with the fresh ingredients. Right, main meal's here, so I went for the tuna steak. Well done. We had a school of dolphins, about a hundred of them, all swimming in front of the ship, like doing like showing off for us basically. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Room service breakfast has just arrived. Uh, half and half. Coffee cream. Oh, we have a cinnamon bagel over here. Two slices of brown toast. Oh, I can be down and rec rec uh, replicate yeah. again. Mine's the omelette. Nick's. Uh, I've got one sausage. Nick's got three and some bacon. I actually ordered eight. You. That's not. Um, that's English bacon too this morning. Oh, did you? We're at sale. It's a sea day. Scotland, sunny day. Yeah. Scotland over there. Is it? I think, well, yeah. I mean, we're heading south, so we're, we're heading over between all the islands around the northwest side of Scotland. So. so we're just looking through the Daily Planner to see what we're going to do. We think we might go and see a show today in the theatre because we've not done it yet. Um, so you get one of these in your room the night before. Like a program. Yeah, and it's got everything that is on the next day with a few advertisements. Um, and just what's going off at the spa and everywhere what's open uh, today's show times so we think we're going to go and watch the barricade boys at 2 30 pm and then we're going to watch braveheart at six we've never seen it at the cinema it's right. non-stop <laughs> it's non-stop we're heading up to the lawn grill up at the top of the ship where they're doing a demonstration of how to cook the perfect steak which I think they might need to tell their Le Petit Chef uh, that actually, yeah. maybe he should go there. So we're going to go and watch that because it sounds quite interesting. Right, we're here. They've got the heaters on, which is absolutely lovely. So no doubt they're going to have these on at night when we're when we're uh, we're dining here. As you can see, there's a big slab of meat there, and the chef's just messing about around the corner. So um, this should be interesting. Uh, what we're going to do? We will talk about the main proteins we have on this piece of meat. If you think about it like around, let's say 15 centimeters from the end, that is here. Let me show you. If you cut it close to the end, you will see more sinew. Sinew, sorry, not sinew, right? When you cut a steak like this, it's ribeye. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the difference. Actually, the same meat, but different name. Different than we call it. The filet mignon and the dining room. So, this is where the filet mignon comes from. Always again, can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, that's the sound you're going to hear. Nice, beautiful marks, nice and crispy actually. You can feel it if you touch it also. The glaze, that beautiful steak. When you have a different right, so just telling us about the different types of pans that they use. Apparently, the Teflon pan on this ship lasts three months and they have to bin it. So, they actually have to use stainless steel pans for all their sort of steaks and things like that because that's the only thing that's approved by the, um, the US food um, agency. Right, that's the uh, steak demonstration done. I really enjoyed that. Me too, actually. I didn't think it was going to be. Um, I think that's not me. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as interesting as that. No. And but I definitely want to try one of the on burgers. The I'm vegan. Get ready. Yeah. I'll beat you back here. Nick's have to get ready. I'm going down to uh, deck number five, which is Cafe Al Bacchio, to get a coffee. Right, we've managed to find a couple of beds in the solarium. It was actually quite full early, but we figured that everybody would be clearing out for dinner and it worked a treat, so we've got a bed. I've just been to the uh, the spa cafe and had a, a noodle, lime and sesame salad, which looks delicious. I've not tried it yet. And then I got myself a couple of little oat cookies. They look nice. They do actually look well, nice. Just, Let me... Right oh, they smell minute, just like flapjack. So I'm going to try this. This is the first time we've eaten healthy. So let's mm. give this a go. They're like just being mad. Oh, oh, they're nice. That is nice. That is really nice. I actually might go and get another one of them. 
So this is the roughest sea that we've had so far. And although it doesn't look like it's not even moving, there is a slight swell if you look at it. Um, better if I just show you the front of the bridge down there. If you watch it carefully, it kind of lifts up and drops down. And um, no, it's not doing it now. But when you walk, when you walk, it feels like every other step feels heavier than the other. It's not a swaying, it's just a, a light, light walking feeling, like a moonwalk. That's the best way to describe it. Right, we're going to get some freshly squeezed juices. Yes, what would you like? I think I'll have that orange one again from the other day. Do you want it as a, like a slushy one? No, no, no. Just the pressed. So I've ordered orange and ginger. I think there's apple in it as well, and orange juice. So it's just going to make them now. Do you want lots of ginger or just a touch? Uh, lots, please. Very spicy though. Yep, that's fine. Orange juice going in. Then lots of ice. It's more like a slush puppy this with, with the fresh ingredients. So these are not included on the Classics drink package. They are chargeable if you're on Classic, but if you're on the Premium drinks package, you do get all these included. Now I've asked him to make it extra ginger and extra spicy. I think my body is going to thank me for this. Yeah, it might not when you say that. I know more alcohol today. Ah, oh, rubbish. It's got a kick. It's like the juices that we used to make years ago. Yeah, but as were rank. These aren't. Mm. Okay, so the, the swell's back. You don't know if you can see it really on here. But um, you can see more there. But you really... You really can't feel anything moving other than you just feel lighter for a few seconds and then heavier as you come back down. Yeah, see it there. Well, I'm trying to film it, but I'm zooming in. So I don't know where I'm getting it. Yeah. yeah, it's down below here, literally straight below us. <laughs> I can see they're running ahead of the waves there. Oh, there. Wow! Wow, that's really hard. Wasn't Another it? one there. So, as you may have gathered with that randomly inserted scene, um, we had a school of dolphins, about a hundred of them, all swimming in front of the ship, like doing like showing off for us basically, swimming underwater, diving in and out. Lee raced back, he was having a, uh, a number two. And I texted him and said, get back here, there's dolphins. So we ran back and we just managed to caught them on film. We've made our way up to the uh, Sky Lounge where there is a quiz on. I think it's a Motown quiz. We thought it'd be quiet and it's absolutely round. It is it? round. It might, the the um, lights are a bit weird here, so it might uh, affect that. So as Nick was saying, we just saw loads of dolphins. How many you would say? About 20 or so? Oh no, oh, man, that's a couple of hundred. You, you missed yeah, out there. Yeah, there was like two schools, one in front, one at the side. Yeah, so that was good. So um, we'll have a listen to this quiz now. Right, we had enough of the quiz and we made our way up to Mast Grill. Uh, we are eating in a couple of hours, so we're just gonna have a small snack of a burger, half a burger, <laughs> and some no fries. Um, we because tried to get the um, Beyond Burger that we yeah, saw in the grill either. demonstration this morning, but they ran out, so. We don't want to um, ruin our Tuscan Grill tonight at six, because I'm really looking forward to that. So one quite interesting fact that we learned this morning is when the, when the guy was doing the, um, the meat demonstration showing the steaks, he actually told us that all the leftover meat on the boat was actually ground up to make the burgers. So they never wasted anything. The only thing that they cut off was some of the uh, the hard fats. So we're actually eating leftover meat. It's nice though. It is quite nice. Nick's seen people with ice cream cones, so he wants to have a look in the Ocean View Cafe. Why not? Because apparently this is where they do them at this time. <laughs> don't fill yourself up for tonight. Right, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll just show you quickly what kind of food they have on. What are all these? Little scones, scones, jam, and clotted cream for an afternoon tea. I oh, wish I'd have known that earlier. Some more buns over there. Some nice sandwiches and pasta here. I like the look of those too, but I'm gotta be good. But I want to go to afternoon tea. <laughs> Why have you got me one? Caramel and chocolate. They're not yours. Oh, uh, mine. This is mine. Gives it you. This, is this the no sugar, no added sugar one? Sugar free one. I don't think it's sugar free, I think it's no added sugar. 
all my screen's got no sugar unless you put it in it. Mmm. Very nice. How's yours? Mmm. Very caramelly. What a view. What a view. We could be anywhere in the world. Bahamas and what have you. You wouldn't think we were like um, in Scotland. That's amazing. So relaxing just watching this. And the sun's out and it's really warm. And it's just an amazing view. Could sit here all night. But we just got ready. We're going to Tuscan Grill for a meal in about 10 minutes. Right, we had a little chill for an hour or two. I've been doing some editing and uh, now I'm just looking out at that view. It's amazing. I could just sit here all night. Unfortunately, we can't. We have a Tuscan Grill booked. Slightly over there is the north coast of Ireland. Yeah. I wish we would go to Ireland. I've never been to Ireland. Um, so one day. Maybe I'll, another cruise. I will visit Ireland, hopefully. Right. So I'm going to the uh, Tuscan Grill and I'm going to try fish or chicken tonight, I think. We'll see. I'm having a ribeye steak because after I saw him cook that this morning with that rosemary and garlic on, oh my god, it was the most amazing smell ever. It did and I was smell still nice. sat about 30 feet away. <laughs> Even though it was a 10 30 in the morning, we both were like, oh, could you just eat a bit of steak? So I'm having a ribeye steak, 12 ounce, rib, 12 ounce ribeye steak, a flatbread, uh, pe uh, pepperoni flatbread, uh, some cheese on a procura. Um, you put it all planned out then? Yeah, I've menu. <laughs> I've not looked at the menu. Come on, let's yet. go. Oh my god, we have got the best. <laughs> New minutes of that. <laughs> in the entire all restaurants. Look at that. Look at that centre point at the back, just slightly above the water. Yeah. I mean, you can feel a lot of engine rumble, but look at that. You could not have a better seat than that. And it looks like it's going to be a quiet evening at the moment anyway, because there's uh, only us in. So this is Tuscan Grill, as Nick said, right at the back of the ship. So the views all the way around, if you're a, a couple, are amazing. Right, so the um, the waitress has just come over and she's literally got a, like a live plant in a pot with a pair of scissors, chopped up some oregano in my dish and poured in some like flavoured olive oil. So that's for like dipping in breads and things like that. And the smell of it, I'm telling you, is like nothing I've smelled before. It's like proper fresh oregano. I'll give you a little look at the menu. I've decided, I think I've decided what I want now. So, um, a new menu with Mount Greasy on it. Starters. You can get an antipasto board, antipasti bar, board. <laughs> you never said things like you did. <laughs> oh well. Salads, soups, flat pizzas. I always try to be posh, but then I get it all wrong. Yeah. Home, beef from Back to the Future. Homemade pastas from the sea. I think I'm going to go for a tuna steak. Um, butcher's cuts, Nick's getting. What are you getting, Nick? Ribeye steak. Ribeye right steak. With and garlic mash and broccoli. You order the sides and your sauce is to go with it. So I think I, it all. yeah, I think I know what I'm having, and then the breads have come out as well. Wow. And I just can't get over that amazing view. That is one of the best views I've ever had for a meal. We're so low down as well. We're only on the get five here. So right, starters have arrived. I went for like 30 seconds. I went for the crab cake. They come out very uh, uh, quick. Um, crab cake with lots of different coloured tomatoes. Nick's gone for a couple of balls. Lovely balls. Yeah. So. Uh, Go on then, try them. let's try Ooh. one on camera. They're the kind of balls that melt in your mouth, I can tell. The lighting's not so good when I took up to Nick, because obviously the window's behind him. Yeah, you're just black. Right, it's done it. Right, main meal's here, so I went for the tuna steak, well done, um, with some spinach and some broccoli. Nick went for the, the ribeye mash. steak. Look yeah. at that. That's exactly the same as the one he prepared this morning, with only yeah. garlic and Maybe things it's like the that. same one, with some mash. And what else did you get? Oh, some broccoli as well. That is a garlic clove on top. Lovely garlic, as you know. Oh, and is that and peppercorn ro sauce? Rosemary peppercorn sauce. Wow. So far, this is my favourite meal. It even beats, like, um, La Petite Chef, even with that um, projection show. This is my favourite meal so far. This is all about the food rather than the, the uh, Well, the and, and the view out of the window. Here's our choice of desserts. So I think I'm going to go for the fig gelato with white chocolate and crushed hazelnuts. What are you going for, Nick? Um, I'm going to have the lemon cello cheesecake, the mascarpone base, Graham's crust, very American, candied lemon. And dessert. So I went for the fig gelato 
with uh, almonds and white chocolate on top. You can just tell there's a lot of work on it part wise on that. Like the, the piece of lime, this piece of mint is exactly centered. These are not like what you give all grannies for Christmas. These are just like proper pieces of lemon that have been soaked in sugar. It looks and look at this. So spongy. Don't you dare touch my dessert. And that is a bit unusual. You usually get it under the cheesecake and it's just kind of scrunched up. You know, it looks so You're not spongy. Touching it. No, just, just it looks so spongy. I want to see how it is. Oh, it's rock hard. It's like a, it's like a dense mascarpone. Let me just get some and try it while I um, have another look at my uh, gelato. It's very dense. Mmm, nice. Yeah, delicious. Thank God, look at that. I cannot. You would not believe that we're just like. Northern Ireland, kind of west of Glasgow, when you see sun like that, and it's been overcast all day, and just check that out. We are so calm, the sea tonight, although there is a swell, which is making every other step feel a bit light, and then there's no wind at all, and then it's just, just an oil tanker out there ruining it all. Oh, what's up there? It doesn't even like we're moving. I know, it's been like that all day, we are moving about 10 knots. It just looks like we just stood still in water. When I looked earlier, we were, go we were travelling at 12 mile an hour. In fact, we do look like we stood, don't, don't we? Yeah. Are we actually moving? I don't know, but there's an oil tanker out there. I know. I bet that's a good zip wire. Down to there. I assume that's a helipad if they take the wires away. So calm and so non-cold and non-windy as well. Nick's trying a new Martins night. Ooh. I had a sit when I was walking up steps. It's blown me away. This is so strong. I watched him make it. It was literally pure alcohol. Apple martini. Yeah. Like really, really apple. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like we're not experienced enough. Well, we have today. I know we have. We kind of ran the, ran the entire schedule in, but I feel like there's so much more to see and we've only got two days left. We're heading to the theatre now. Yeah, we've not been in here yet at all, so... That's what we're going to watch, Broadway Cabaret. You may use cameras and video during this show. amazing the singers were fantastic it started off really good because we recognized the songs but a lot of the songs were like from musicals that I've never even heard of but still the whole thing was amazing it was fun. Yeah, yeah, we're that. really good singers we and it was go good atmosphere we need to win there every night now yeah that we've got left. we've only got two nights left yeah, so we need to win there Nick's um, called the martini bar we're at the martini, martini bar martini. I want another apple martini but apparently there's two different types there's a candied one, which is why I had earlier, which was quite tart and bitter. And apparently there's another one that's made with butterscotch, which I want to try. Time for bed. Excuse me, you told me you wanted to go to bed? I could. All these 70 year olds here are knocking you out of the water and you sat there like Granda Papa John. Wanted to go to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah, bye. Nick spilt down his shirt. So, we enjoyed that Broadway show. We enjoyed the how to cook a steak this morning. We enjoyed chilling around the pool and seeing the dolphins this afternoon. And we more so enjoyed dinner. I guess the dinner was fantastic. That was my favorite dinner so far. So that was Tuscan Grill. Tomorrow night we have the Lawn Club and then we have one more night left which will probably Grand Coupe again. Um, so I can't imagine that tomorrow night would beat tonight but you never know so thanks for watching tomorrow night would be tonight i can't imagine tomorrow night's meal would beat tonight's but you never know you get me 
I'm not even listening to you. Thanks for watching today, guys. Oh, you look so yellow. I know, it's these lights, can't do my lights. Stand back. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment. Uh, we always read your comments and we shall see you We're on going the to bed now. next vlog, uh, which will be tomorrow when we dock in Glasgow. Greenock. Near Glasgow. Scotland. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.